Cartoons are a child's best friend. They help teach lessons by example and they help shape the reality of the world. They influence perspective, which makes them a very useful but at the same time a very dangerous tool. How every character is represented is usually a benchmark of sorts for reality. A child may look at a certain character as a role model and by extension may imitate the same characteristics. Middle Eastern animation is a prime example of that and how women are represented to young girls is questionable to say the least. Take Tunis 250. This is a Tunisian animation. It has several male and female characters. There is a good balance. It isn't predominantly male, which is a good start. Story-wise, I'm not quite sure what's going on. I don't understand the Tunisian dialect. However, the animation tells the story on its own. There are five main female characters. Yasmin, Ahlam, Nihal, Nancy, and my personal favorite, Lobna. I'm guessing you've taken a good look at each one of those characters, but let's analyze them closer. Mind you, this is just the intro to the animation. First, let's look at Yasmin. She seems fine from here, right? Well, let's add more context, and we're going to need Ahlam's help here. You see this guy Ahlam is pulling? Yeah, the bald guy with the mustache. He's Yasmin's husband. Yasmin is portrayed throughout this animation as the jealous woman, not your typical type of jealousy though. In one episode, she was asking her husband where he was between 5.01 and 5.03. Yeah, two minutes. Abdelhamid, where were you between 5 minutes and 5 minutes? Now let's look at Ahlam. She is completely different from Yasmin. She is much more confident. From what you've seen in Yasmin's story, you can probably tell what type of character she is. She is the sexy seductress that leeches off married men. We're going to move a little bit faster now, so let's talk about Nihal and Nancy at the same time. Let's look at how they're introduced. Now let's look at how other male characters are introduced. Nihal literally falls in the arms of her lover, while Nancy is literally looking down on them. I'm not even going to get started on Nancy. Like, why? Why? Anyways, we finally arrived at my favorite character. Lobna. Just look at this. It's just ridiculous really. How do you think someone would perceive this? Is this the role model for young girls? Is this what we're telling our younger generation? Put on enough makeup and maybe some rich man will throw money at you? And what's with the jiggling? I could probably go for hours with the actual animation and how it fails the Bechdel test on many levels. But we have other animations to look at. Toon is 250 isn't the exception, it's the norm. Misrepresentation of women is common in Middle Eastern animation. For example, let's look at Nahfat Aletna, an Iraqi animation. This is a story about a housewife, her husband, and her mother-in-law. This episode, the housewife is cooking dinner for the family, and when she leaves the house to get something, she sees this. Her friend's husband walking with another woman. So she goes back home and calls her friend to tease her about how her husband is cheating on her. She then discovers that this woman is actually her friend and that she just got plastic surgery. So she quickly runs to her house to check for herself. <laughs> there is more to the story, but let's stop here for a moment. This, this right here, this is a prime example of a male gaze. It's a classic voyeuristic objective view of women. It's not only telling young girls that this right here is how you should look like, but it's also telling young boys that this right here is the type of woman you should go after. Moving on with the story. The housewife of course gets the hint, this is how she should look like. So she decides to talk to her husband about it and she takes a firm stand that she is going to get plastic surgery, even if they don't have the money. So the husband lends a hand or two. Allah 
and it just ends there it, it just ends there so what's the lesson here kids plastic surgery is important because you're going to look pretty also by the way domestic violence is okay too